Rohan, we're going to finish today's show with a fun little game. We're going to be school teachers. We're going to be grading. I mean, you have got your every. We're going to be. It's a shirt. <laughs> How, on on what planet would this be a lab coat? Joking, joking. No, you're not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be school teachers, Rohan, and we're going to grade every single Arsenal player's season. Not on this newfangled. Have you heard about this one to nine thing? That, I think we should GCC do it now. like that, though. Not having, it. No, not having it. Not having no, it. Not having it. No, I, I do agree that it should be like that for GCSEs. I agree. Proper. A's like A's. it's always been. GCSEs like it's always been. <laughs> okay, so are we, so are we going to A star? Yeah. I think let's. Yeah, we can. We can. Yeah, you know there might be some who get an F. Um, but uh, so yeah, uh, let's do. Let's do. Let's do A star to to F. And maybe we can have a U as well, an ungradable. Yeah, because U is worse than an F. U. U is worse U than an is F. just like... You Did you ever get any U's or F's? Worse. Nah, never. Never. What were your GCSEs? Oh, my GCSEs were like... Yeah, there were five A's. No, yeah, no, five A-stars, four A's, and six A's. <sighs> and then my A-levels were A, A, C. Oh, I, got, no. I did get a C in A-levels, though. I got a D in A-levels, mate, so... I got oh, AAD. Um, uh, AAD. Yeah, sociology like had my back, and then there's a group there. of four people here in Akrogana listening to you guys. You have no idea the void you're feeling. Well, mate, that's amazing. Thank awesome. you guys. Thank you so much. Shout out to you. Love to go to Ghana one day. Um, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's start off um, with Aaron Ramsdale. What's his season? <laughs> Get involved in the comments. Let us know what you think. Okay. I, I personally, personally, I think that the season that Aaron Ramsdale was having prior to Ryan coming in, he didn't show me anything that warranted him staying in the team. But at the same time, he didn't show me anything that warranted him being dropped in that moment. And the games in which he's featured in since, I think he's been pretty below average. So I'd go D. I think... I'm going to be slightly nice, maybe. So and you're go not going to. <laughs> Alpe says absent. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think C is average. I don't think he's been away. Average. Yeah, C, C is like pass. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, no, D is pass these days, I think. Oh. Standards. <laughs> standards. Uh, the standards. Ramsdale gets a D. Let his dad do his homework. It's like you know those people. You know those people who are convinced that like schools. Every every generation thinks schools are going down the drain. The standards are going yeah, down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I you saw this thing day, your... and it was like the history of no one wants to work anymore, and it's like newspaper clippings from like the 1600s of like people saying that no one wants to work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no one's got a work ethic anymore. It's so funny. Anyway, um. I would go if a D is a pass. I'm going to go a. What did you? I'm go? going a D. I'm going a D. I'm going to go a D plus because I. Oh no, that's hard. No, I think, that's, hard. I think that's harsh. I think that's harsh. I'm going to go a D plus. I'm going to go a D plus. Well, no, I don't think we should be I allowed think... pluses. You got to say mate. C then. My school, <laughs> you got to say school. It's my sister, the money penny school. Right, D plus. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's the money penny G van school of school of standards. <laughs> Where every where every student fails. <laughs> school of the standards, the Madi Penny Givan School of the Standards. I think I think it's a D plus because I think so much of what's happened, that, that him coming in and making those mistakes that he has isn't good, but it's so related to to what's happened. Like I think I think if, if that doesn't happen. He probably has an average season. Arsenal don't improve in the same way we have, but I don't think he makes those mistakes if he's given. I don't know. I just I think it's all wrapped up in one in one thing, and I think some of the my point is as well. Some of the detractors to Raya, who might say, "Oh, he was a bit shaky when he first came in." I think that's part of the situation as well. As well, do you know what I mean? I think. Do you know what I mean? Like it's 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 all one thing. He's got problems at home, Rohan. But the problem, but, I, but if I he's got at problems at home, you're gonna you're gonna do this. <laughs> you're gonna be one of those teachers. Hide and see, but if you think about if I if I look at his season, right? Crystal Palace and uh, F uh, and Forest can't fault him. Against Fulham, he had his part for the first goal. Against Manchester United for the Rashford goal, he played his part there. He can do better. Against Brentford, 
where he came in um, away from home, he nearly gifted two goals there. Against Brentford at home, he gifted them a goal. He has made he has made a few errors, and I like I really like our Ramza, but I think I think a D is fair. Okay, okay. He did let his dad do his homework, and that is that is very funny. Oh, I uh, let him have a C. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because the dad did his homework. Oh no no. <laughs> uh, let's do let's do Carl Hein. You ungradable. It doesn't go on. Ungradable. Yeah, see, it didn't turn up. He didn't put his. He, he did that thing. Do you remember that when on my maths where you go, "Oh, miss, I didn't press." Oh complete. yeah, <laughs> I did it, but I didn't press complete, miss. So, oh, all right, did, okay. Did you do my maths as well? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Shout maths. out my maths, unbelievable. Shout out my maths. Uh, yeah, he did my maths, but didn't press complete. Um, Raya, I'm gonna give. Me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and, I'm gonna go an A minus. Let okay, so we're comments. doing, we're doing, so, so A, A minus eight. A can I just off. can I just say something? Me yeah. and Rohan on a pod on Rohan's podcast saying Ramsdale hasn't had a great season is not hurting his sale value. If I yeah, had that absolutely. juice, if I oh had that God. juice, you think I'd be doing this? <laughs> what you wouldn't? No, no, I would. I would. I would. I would. <laughs> yeah, I would. Of course, I would. Of course. I would. <laughs> wait, wait um, how are we doing this? Oh, we're getting minuses and pluses and all this. Yeah, that's. Um, what do you mean? I thought you'd do like A, A plus, D, D plus. So D, I think, should be the same as D minus. No, because there's a D, you get a D, a D minus, and you get an E plus. Yeah, so but, you don't yeah, get easy. No, 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 but when you get your GCSEs, you don't get D yeah. minus. You don't. No, but oh, it's a game, Rohan. All right, fine. <laughs> okay. Jesus, this guy. <laughs> okay, I, I'd go for an A above an A minus. I just got quoted on a pod. I saw, so what was the quote? I'm getting copied again, Rohan. We have spoke about this. No comment. Um, <laughs> no comment. I, I, I would give. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go A minus for Raya. I think, apart from a couple of moments, I think he could have like some of his long, long distribution recently has been a little bit off. Um, there's a couple of shots I think he could have saved here and there, maybe the, the Gelano one or whatever. But mate, he has. He's taken us to a new level. Well, I, I look at post Luton away. He's been arguably the best goalkeeper in the league in terms of performances. He's arguably been up there in terms of what he's offered to our build up. You've seen how we're pushing Ben White a lot higher now because of his ability to be aggressive off his line, to start at that central centre back position, to vacate his post, the cross claiming, the proactiveness. Everything he's giving us is so, so good. And, and the way he's able to be so calm on the ball, how he gets his studs on the ball and he faces yeah. directly, um, he faces play directly in a straight manner, he, he, he gives us so much in build up. And also, I don't know if you've seen the. Um, the, the graphic of um, Raya being uh, only three keepers in Europe are as aggressive than Raya, you know, showcasing his sweeping capability as well. I, I just, mate, this is so this is big five. Can you see this? Big five leagues, advanced goalkeepers. So this is crosses, cross stop percentage. Top of Europe, David Raya. Yeah. Top of Europe for top five. Percent. What's his post shot XG numbers? It, he's he's not... in the. They're not amazing, are they? I did see no, but did you see oh, sure, another... per 90 is just below? But did you see in the art there was an article recently that came out from Statsbomb as well where it's looking at save percentage relative to expected save percentage. And David Raya mm. is 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 above average in that aspect. He's one percent. And for me, for a goalkeeper who plays at a club like Arsenal where we sustain so much pressure, we concede very few shots. That is the aim. If a goalkeeper mm. is just above average, that is enough. Yeah, as yeah. long as he provides yeah other qualities which yeah. he does and i think that's he's facing so a few shots yeah exactly. so i'm going a minus what's your final final grade i'll go a so a minus a a plus i'll go a okay okay uh let's move on to the defenders you're in timber well the for the vibes, turned, he turned up for the first day of school and then and then flunked off playing the community shield as well and he was fantastic we do count that for what we saw a but like, you can't give him an A because he's only turned up a couple of times to school. I mean, it's it's got to <laughs> really, be an F. really get into the school. It's got to be. It's got to be um, an F. It's not it's an F. F. It's he's an played absent. one game. It's okay. Absent. Yeah. What? So we're saying you? Yeah, it's ungradable. But he played one game, so I don't know. It's like... Yeah. How are we? How are That's we what I'm saying. Game? I'm thinking ungradable is like you've not played a single game this season. 
Lawrence McKenna started you in his vid today. He said Rohan's butler said <laughs> Rohan's butler. <laughs> <laughs> I think absent A for absent. Yeah, I think I'm going A. Okay, fine. A for absent. Yeah. Uh, I, we got we got you absent. Um, Willie Saliba. Have you seen that clip of McCarry goes? Nice, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about me, you, yeah. But me, when it, me when it doesn't go off after two minutes. Do you know what? Nice, <laughs> Willie. Really. People are like, you know, oh, that's such a childish humour, mate. I love that stuff. That is the oh, kills you know, me. I, someone, that absolutely kills me. Someone said this yesterday about the 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 touch the touch balls um thing and was like uh was like, oh, this is such puerile humour or something. And I was like, the whole point of the touch balls, it's stupid. That's the point. I'm not I don't think him saying touch ball it is quite funny but you know what i mean like it's so, the joke is it's stupid so to go that's really stupid it's like yes that's the joke mate, mate my, my my sense of humor is in the gutter it is honestly like so like have you seen rush hour no okay rush hour like some of the stuff in that is so that is so random but that, but that sort of like, stuff i think it's trying it's it's not stupid it's trying to it's trying to be funny but do i don't I mean? like i don't know about you i don't like intellectual comedy i like Silly comedy, <laughs> like literally just like someone farting, and that's that. That would make me laugh. <laughs> that's that would just kill me. <laughs> Gaza, oh, Alex oh, behaved so, so differently the other day on Tom's channel. Didn't even have the courage to ask Tom such rules, mate. That is so kind. Thank yeah, you so much. Good. I think I think this is a guy who gave um who was on on TGC and we, and we did a uh, he gave us uh, some money as well. So thank mate. That is yeah to to support the channel in that way is is so so nice. No, oh yeah, that's that's such a good. That's so kind, honestly. Thank like, you. Like, thank you. Yeah, Grumpy Doctor. I love Rush Hour. I love Rush Hour. It's one of my favourite films. Sorry, I've gone off topic there. You've gone that's off topic. Cool. But I, I'm gonna, I, I do, yeah, I just want. I'm to gonna, say. I'm gonna give Rohan. Tw uh, how much would that be? Probably twenty two quid. I'll send it to you. I'm gonna wire it to you. <laughs> Keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Gaza, thank you so much, mate. Genuinely unbelievable. Up the Gaza. Let's go. Thank you, mate. Really, really kind. Really, really kind. One day, this is why I want to do. I think I said to you, I want to do a TDK. Um, it was a dollar, so you might be unavailable. Well, I want to do a um, a live event. Oh, they have to do that. I, I want to do. I want to do a live event. I want to do. Um, but what I like, I want it to be sick. Do you know what I mean? Like, I want. It, I don't want it just be like you know when you go to live events. It's just like people talking about arsenal. It's like yeah, that like that will be part of it. Yeah. But I want it to be like an interact, like live music, like games, like 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 almost like a like a theme park type vibe. Do you know what I mean? Like I want it to be like fun. Everyone actually have a sick time, and like yeah, I think that would be that'd be so that'd be so fun. Am I invited? No, thank you, Desa. <laughs> Genuinely, so so kind. Thank you, mate. Really yeah, appreciate thank it. You. Thank you so much. Um, and you'll get another bit. Um, so let's move on. Yeah, the Willie, nice Willie. Um, <laughs> So nice, Willie. Uh, <laughs> let's do. I, I'd go for. Um, I'd go for an A. I'm going to go for an A, and the reason he's not an A plus, yeah, is because I think he can do more. Yeah, I think he's got. Well, I said this on the camera earlier. I think people can do. I think he's got. I think he's got more in terms of um, distribution. Showing us a little bit more, and not just Hollywood balls, but like being a bit more adventurous. I think he's got more in terms of playing out from the back. Um, in terms, sorry, in terms of carrying out from the back. I think he's got more in terms of he could look a little bit. He's a little bit jittery at times. Sometimes trying to get sort his sort his, yeah. sort his feet out. Yeah. I think he's still got a little bit to work on in terms of his, his step count and so on. You know that sort of hipster stuff. But yeah, I, I yeah. think I, I think I think what it is is so 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 when William Saliba is is pushed out wide in build up, fa if not facing play, he gets himself in awkward angles where he still mm. tries to play out, and sometimes he can force a turnover, and it can lead to a dangerous situation like at the Etihad. You know where I don't know about you, but I, I don't. Know, William Saliba is generational talent, but I don't know how you can't give it to Gabriel um, as the man of the match against against Man yeah, City yeah, on, yeah. on Sunday. But I, I think I don't know if you saw the stat since the start of last season. He's been dribbled past only five times. That's the yeah, it's crazy. Premier League games. It's and crazy. taking to the context, Arsenal hold the second highest line in Europe. They crash the box more than any other team. He is forced to defend the channels 1v1. He's forced to defend central areas 1v1. Over 57 games, and it's five times. Yeah, it's, that it's is mad. not. It's genuinely mad. And th this is the thing is I, I feel harsh giving only, only giving him an A. Yeah. But that's how much I believe in the talent. It's like I think there's more to get out of him. Yeah, yeah. I buy that. I buy Which that. Which is why I give Gabriel an A plus. 
because I think Gabriel and That's it's not what he did there. it's not because I think I think Gabriel you could you could make an argument either way. I just I just, I just think enjoy him, mate. You know, people say who's is, is he better? Is he better? Just enjoy him. It's not regular pressure. Has Gabriel had one single below par performance this season? No, and I also no. think he's added bits to his game. I think there's like a cross field pass he's trying into Erdegaard at the minute. Yes, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it, and he's added little, yeah, little bits into his game. He's so he, good with he, the he's, he's, spaces he, in that spaces, and he moves the ball in around the box, and the way he takes the ball and he moves in the time. I'm, gen- I'm genuinely serious. That we is sick. Be. That is sick. We will be there. That is that is sick. Thanks for you should him. clip. You should clip that. You know, like you did the Roy Keane one. I've got a um. Do that. Honestly, that's sick. I'm too nervous. Right, actually, chat. I'm too nervous to post this. I've got an impression sick. of me. Doing Your Louis Faru one was absolutely rubbish, but this one's sick. That is not true. Faroui, Patui, Faroui. I've got a video of me doing. You know when he goes um, uh, uh with with Trent when he's like. Have you got time? Oh, yeah. Because right? we're way over already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got yeah, time. Cool, we got cool, time. Cool. Liverpool I'll, are winning I'll, anyway. I'll I'm just, not bothered. I'm not watching. I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead. Just um, the one where he's he's talking with Trent and he's like, um, not about Trent. Tr- Tr- what am I saying? Speak properly. Trent has said, "Oh, it means more," and he's asked about it, and they're like, um, uh, he's like, um, "I wish him a speedy recovery." I've seen this message. one. No, that I've one. seen this one. I've, I've seen this one. So maybe, I the, post- maybe the Twitter world hasn't seen it. I want to post this. I'm too nervous. I'll, I'll let the sh- I'll let everyone see it. I agree on that, by the way. I don't have a Rio. Jack L, get out of the chat. He knows. He knows. I'm not. <laughs> he knows ball. He knows okay. Ball. Can you see? Can you see this? Yes. 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 I've seen this one as well. Wait. Hi, Pep. I, I, I just was that? just wondering if you'd seen the the comments from Trent Alexander Arnold um, in in relation to to you know saying it sort of means more I, to Liverpool. I, I, I just wondered. I, you... I wish him a speedy recovery and back on the beach as soon as possible. Wait, was the was the whistling that he, exaggerated? Was yes, that ex- I can't remember uh, it. I can't. Remember after it. he's like this. Yeah. I, I don't. I, honestly, that is sick. And you know I, me, I'm honest. I'm honest. No, I appreciate. I, I gen- it's one of those things that I've like. I've always. I do it all the time. It's like a joke, but I, I do at some point want to like try and do some sketches because I think there's so much in it. Mate, there's so much. What, in what, it. Mate, what, what did what did um uh, Rob Edwards uh, I'm getting this off the screen, Jack L. Wait, wait, and what did Rob Edwards say about uh, Arsenal, how adaptable they are? You're showing your about adaptability in content creation. I'm showing my adaptability. Shut up. You're Sorry. <laughs> I didn't deserve that. So I, thought mean. I, wouldn't have, I thought it would, you wouldn't so have popped on. <laughs> so mean. It's just unnecessary. So mean. Oh um, we've done, we've done Willie. We've done Gabriel. We've done Timber You. All right, let's do, um, let's do Cedric Suarez. Nah, do you know what? If we're looking at the performances don't. this season, no, 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 no hear me this. out. No, no, hear me don't out. Hear me this. out. Right. Don't right, do so, this. So what what game did he start this season? Uh, PSV. PSV away. Did he not play well? I don't like Cedric as a footballer. As a footballer, did he not play well? Story. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you can't give him a U. You cannot give him an F. Someone called Actually, User no. One has said, "Who's that?" Do you know how down bad you have to be for user one to <laughs> say who's one, that? There's <laughs> any name you can have, just user one. <laughs> now, nah, do you know what? Not, no, no, we cannot have him. I'll give him an F. Uh, an do F. you know what? I'm, 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 I'm too harsh on. No, you, you don't bottle it. You were going to give no, him no, a C because, or something. No, because I gave Ramsdale a D. I can't give him that close to Ramsdale, can I? I'm, I'm looking at it relative. I just, I'm, yeah, I'm I relative. yeah. I just, yeah. No, I feel actually, hard, you know I feel bad on no. Cedric because he's one of those people who, like, I reckon if I met him, he'd be a really lovely person. Do you know what I mean? I bet he'd be a really nice guy. He seems a really good professional. He seems a really nice guy, but he's just not. He's not. At, he's not at the level. He's not yeah, at the so, level. And, and so, you, if you met, he shall not be named. He'd also be a nice guy. Who cares? He's not a great guy. <laughs> <We're> nice guys. <laughs> I love that. So, do you watch Stick to Football? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when they're all like, yeah, another great guy. <laughs> uh, I refuse to comment. I prefer not to speak. Uh, Takahiro Tomiyasu. C? A C. Because he's I've... done well, but he's not been available. 
So, so before he sustained that injury against Wolves, I think Tommy Yasu was up there for one of our our unsung heroes of the season in terms of how he how he came in, combated various game states, came on against Man City, came on against Man United. Um, you know, and, and and he also had some really good performances when he started. If you remember back in the cup against Brentford away from home, where he played central centre back, he was man of the match. Um, yeah. And and I actually think he had a rusty start against Man City, but he grew into it. And, and, and he finished it really well. And I thought, um, I just think you, you can't give him a D based on the performances that he's had, but you can't give him any anything above a C because he's not been available enough. So yeah, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Uh, B minus, C plus. Yes, yeah, it's, it's somewhere around there. He's just not available enough. Actually, I give him a well. C minus. I give him a C minus because I he's, think it's like yeah, he's played well when he's played. I'd yeah, I I think I'd agree with Alex Forder here. I I'm going to go with C. I'm going to go with a C. He's been good when he's played. He's been at a good level. He's passed the ball around. Um, he's passed. <laughs> he's passed. So stupid. So stupid. Passed or passed? Um, he passed the ball. Yeah. What do you say? Yeah, passed I'm, the I'm, ball. I'm, see, I'm a bit more north, so it's passed. Would you say grass? Grass, yeah. yeah. See, so you, you, you get, you get, you get, you get, you get like passed from your end and then. It just as you go further, I, I swear you've said in in the past though, in the past. <laughs> I'm really it now. I swear you said past, like oh he passed to him. I always say past. Uh, I swear you said it anyway. Um, next up on our defenders, Zinchenko. Alexander Zinchenko. I, I've actually got a video coming out about him. I've got a lot to say about him, which I won't. So I won't say it here. But yeah, I've got a lot to say about Zinchenko. I, I, I'd give him a C. Uh, I'd give him a C. I think, again, I look at Zinchenko and where have his best performances come this season? Burnley at home, Sheffield United at home, those talk, New Nottingham Forest as well, away from home. Those types of games where there's a specific game state in which Zinchenko is very good at. And that's why I think he still will have a, his part to play in this run -in. But there are other games in which you're relying upon fine margins in certain moments in which Zinchenko off the ball doesn't give you that, that security. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. why this team is moving away from him because we are showing that we can progress from the back in our build-up into the final third, access those spaces without much trouble. Yeah. Whereas last season without Zinchenko, that was an issue. And this team is developing. So, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, just going to quickly do this. I Basically, the thing last season mm -hmm. was creating that two in the midfield. Let me just do the, the tactics. All the board, yeah. Creating that two in the midfield. So we had, you know, roughly, let's say, an average, uh, ignore the numbers, and I won't put the, the names on because... Uh, because of what? Go on, say it, say it. <clears throat> because of your spelling. Say it. <laughs> but essentially, Zinchenko coming, was coming in here. And let's say, no, let's, let's put the numbers on because actually that might be useful for last season. So this was vaguely the setup last year, right? Where Gabriel would sort of be the wide centre-back. Saliba was in the middle. He had the number 12 on. Not that it literally matters at all. We had Ben White, we had Thomas Partey, right? And Rapster. No one else in the squad really could do this job. Really. Because we didn't have Declan Rice. Let's not forget Martin Erdegaard was a lot higher last season. Hadn't quite found this ability he's now got to, to drop in when he needs to and, and stay high when he needs to. Gabby Jesus would never adventure that far, so he's not going to be doing that. Um, sort of had Martin Eddie out here. And in terms of the, the subs, who do we have last season? Well, you... The, the, the closest but, bet was Tommy Asu. Tommy Asu, but I, I still don't think Tommy Asu but, but had found... No, no, but he couldn't have... I don't think Tommy Asu had found yeah. that. We yeah. didn't have Kivio most of the season, again, who hadn't found that. And also, it's not really how he plays the, the role anyway. Exactly, yeah. But in terms of creating this two now, you've got so many options. For me... You've got, you've got Zinchenko. Yeah. You've got yeah. White step in there. You've got Erdegaard who can drop in there now. You've got yeah. Thomas Martin in there. You've got Declan Rice. You've got Uri and Timber. There's so many ways we can make this too, for whatever reason, whether it's to pull the the, the winger inside or to yeah, it's, create it's, the box in the middle, whatever. We know, you know, we all know the reasons. But to create the two, we've got so many different options. And then when you realise that you are vulnerable out of possession with him, it's a concern. So, so, so last season, right? To put it very, very short, it was a predominant feature within our play to have the left back invert into midfield. It was still situational in certain games, but it was predominant. This season, it hasn't been a predominant feature within our play. There's still been moments where it has been an occurrence. Like yesterday against Luton, it was probably the, the most intense I've seen Zinchenko invert mm -hmm. all season. 
Um, and then Erdegaard's all phase responsibility role that he has been given, uh, which is an iteration from last season, I think is killing Zinchenko slowly in terms of his uh, his influence on this team. Now, again, mm. I still think there is a massive part in certain games that he, he, he will play in, but you can see that the team is evolving past him. And he doesn't give you other qualities out of possession, outside of, outside of his dueling capacity, that warrants him being in the team ahead of others. You know, yeah. so it's... Yeah, no, I agree. Evolving. The team is I, evolving. I also think we should do midfielders and attackers next week, because otherwise we are going to be here for two and a half hours. I want to do it properly, because we've got one more to have a conversation about. So Zinchenko, I'm going to go for... Okay, let's see. Yeah, but is that unfair on Tomiyasu? No, I think you'd have to give Zinchenko slightly more than Tomiyasu, no? I think give less. Because I think Zinchenko has been available more this season. Yeah, maybe. And, and maybe. I'd say he's had more... Maybe the same. Maybe, maybe the, the same, same. but I, I, like I said so, Tomiyasu C- minus and Zinchenko C+. Plus. I think Zinchenko's had some very good games this season as well, I think. Um, yeah. That, I like, for example, not Tottenham. Tottenham at home. He was probably one of our best performers, you know, in, in that mm. game. So mm. there's some awesome games. C minus. I don't love how much he gives the ball away in midfield. I feel it's a C minus for Zinni. Both Tommy and Kivio show more balance for the teams in his future. Good lies on Nenny's replacement in midfield. Shea Daddy's not happy with our grades, or maybe Shea Daddy. Grades. Unfair grades, all of them. Take it up with the exam board. <laughs> What are the examples like OCR? Um, take, take it over that Excel, yeah. all right? And Excel, AQA, AQA. <laughs> the SAS that you showed there. I love it. I love it. Let's <laughs> finish with Jacob Kiwiel. Um, I I would give him. I'm gonna give for a B. I'd give him a B plus. Wow. Because I think. When you look back at the season, that could be a defining moment as to why Arsenal go on to win the league. How Mikel Arteta first adapted to Kivio's skill set and also the performances that Kivio has been giving post that role change, where we're not asking him to come inside the block because he doesn't, for me, he doesn't possess the, the, the speed of thought in the middle of the park under pressure, that blind side. Um, whereas when he's out wide, at left centre back in build up as well, which is tailored to his needs, and Gabriel has had to adapt to him by playing more central centre back. I think he's been fantastic when you considered that. And 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 in a moment where we needed a player to step up in that role, due to the, the un- unavailability of Tommy Asu and Zinchenko taking those mitigating circumstances into consideration, mm-hmm. I would give him a B plus because because without him, we might not have been able to build the momentum that we've seen. Yeah. I think he's been yeah, I, I agree. I, I think, you know, in the best period of the season, he's been our left back. So, you know, you exactly. can't say any more than that. Exactly. So I think he He's not perfect. I'd like to see perfect, him. Yeah. His, I think his past. Com- Honestly, his confidence. I think from for for like, Kibio, and you can see it's growing. But he still does the simple stuff, um, which is fine. And you know, you're not at the end of the world. We don't look to him to be some you know mad, you know, cr- you know, change the game out of nothing for us. But you know, I think he has a bit more than he's showing. Uh, I'd like to see him on the overlap a little, little bit more. I'd like to see him on the underlap a little bit more. I think he has the capacity to do that. I think I'd like to see him really lock down the Bernarda Sil Bernarda. Bernarda? Bernarda Silver. Bernardo. The Bernardo Silvers of this world. I'd love to see him lock down one of those guys because I trust him against a, a tricky winger. I don't trust him against as obviously a pacing winger. I don't trust him against those sort of technical guys who just hold the ball up. Like against the Grealish, I think he'd get done. I think he'd get uh, done against uh, Johnny uh, just yeah, I've always felt with Kivio. Those very like techie players. Yeah, I, I remember, like, I, I said it, I remember I saw a game against Wolves last season, the last day of the season, and um, I, I felt that I, I, I worry about Kivio 1v1 in big spaces, whereas I think Kivio 1v1 when the distances are close, because he's got that large frame, he can wrap his leg around and he can win those duels there. But when you increase the distance and he's 1v1, he's fixed, I think he lunges in too early, I think he gets too yeah, square on, square, and yeah. he can't shift his... If you get too square on, then you can't shift your hips to um, as quick as possible yeah. to commit a player to go one side, and I don't yeah, think he gets still... low enough as well. So, yeah, he's still a little bit centre back. Centre back, exactly. And Ben White, yeah. to not not to the same not to the same level as Kivio, but Ben White has a little bit of that as well, um, which is what makes Gabriel and Saliba so special because the way they defend one v ones out wide against wingers, mate, it's honestly incredible because they're centre backs. Yeah, pick. yeah. So, but so- I would also argue I don't know whether they've done any body composition work. I think White's looking. 
maybe not leaner, but he looks more athletic to me at the moment. Yeah. I don't know what they've done. He just looks more springy than he has ever done. He's not he's not thinner or leaner. He just looks more springy. Maybe it's the injury. I, I don't know. I don't know what, but yeah, I, I think he looks more like a fullback, a traditional fullback these yeah, days. I, than, I do. Than I do want to see. I, I do want to see Kivior showcase his passing range more because I think there's so much there that we've not seen. We've barely seen yeah, him agree. switch play, and that when I watched him in Poland, granted it's very little. Yeah. I see him switch play like seven or eight times a game. Yeah, you know, and, yeah. Um, we are one of the worst teams in terms of switches yeah. as well. So, do, do you know what's mad? I said this earlier. A year ago, what's your starting eleven for Arsenal? Right now, Zinchenko is arguably, I'm not saying he is, but arguably our fourth choice left back. Potentially, yeah. Because yeah. if Timber's available, I think he I think he is our first choice left back. He's currently the best player in the world. And I want to temper, I think we're gonna have a bit of a period with Timber where we go, Oh, is he as good as we thought he was? Yes, he is. Just calm down. Um the uh, I think Kivior goes in over him, certainly in big games. I mean, I'll take it as shown that. <laughs> Literally showing yeah, it that, yeah, that Kivior goes yeah. in. 100%. And I think I would rather have Tommy Asu in, in, certainly in certain games. So I think there's certain games where he is our fourth choice left back. Well, Probably. if you look at the if it, the big games, he is 100% fourth choice because all those other three offer greater reliability in different phases than as in yeah. Jenko. In yeah. games against lesser opposition, he might not still be first choice, which is mad because in games where yeah. you're against a low block, you're banking on a Zinchenko, but he's not yeah. your first choice there. If a Jurian yeah. Timber was available, he breaks lines in a different way. And Arteta's alluded to it as well. Um, and the team's evolving, and that's to the benefit of Arsenal at the end of the day. So I agree with you, Rohan. I think teams do evolve. And I also, I don't know what you think about this, but I think Arsenal should try and win, um, win, goal, win games. Win goals. I think Arsenal should try and win goals before the end of the season. <laughs> goals. What do you think? Thoughts, thoughts on that? I don't want to be controversial. 